Hey everyone, Pastor Shul of Grace Lutheran Church here with Pastor Hetrick and Cindy Fritz and Peter Horn of our Faith Formation Team as we tell you about our worship today and, and some exciting things that are coming up here at Grace. Today, in addition to our 8 a.m. indoor service and our 9 a.m. courtyard service, we're gonna have worship on the lawn at 11 a.m. right here at our courtyard as well. Now, usually, you know, we have uh, worship at the mountain at Tussie on this Sunday, but this year we made other arrangements and we're gonna gather here at Grace. It's sort of like a homecoming at the end of summer for all of us. Now, in our denomination, the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America, it's also God's Work, Our Hands Sunday. So in addition to lots of hands-on activities, we're also collecting this week for Lutheran World Relief to fund the effort to vaccinate others around the world, especially those who are gathered in refugee settlements. To donate today, you can visit glcpa.org, click Give, and indicate it's for vaccines, or mail your gift to us here at 205 South Garner Street in State College. The zip code is 16801. Friends, your gift can do a world of good. And now Pastor Hetrick will say a few words about our worship and this month's services as we think about God's work in our lives. Hi there, friends. In a time when so many things keep changing, the one thing that we can count on always being there for us is God's work in the cross for all of us. We're celebrating Holy Cross Day, where our readings include a verse that most of us know by heart. God so loved the world that God sent God's only Son, Jesus, to save us. God's work and God's heart are focused entirely on healing and saving out of God's never-ending love for us. As much as we celebrate our homecoming this weekend in worship, we realize that the journey of the past year and a half has been at times a journey that has felt like we're in the wilderness. Life has brought each of us at one time or another to a place of the pain of sickness or the weariness of struggle or maybe even the sorrow of death. Each of us knows something of this. This weekend is also the 20th anniversary of the 9-11 attacks which left such a huge mark upon our world. And so we plan to take a few moments at the beginning of worship this weekend before we journey forward in hope to quietly reflect before God, to allow ourselves to experience honestly and with reverence the feelings which we each carry, and to place them at the cross before God in truth, without shame. God promises to comfort and console us. And in worship, we'll have strips of fabric and Sharpies so that you can write down the name of a sadness or a pain, a person you've lost or a struggle, and place it at the foot of the cross during the music before our worship begins. We are providing this opportunity both now and through the end of September in our Sunday worship services. And then we hope to take all of our laments and fashion them into fabric art that reminds us not only of where we've been, but of Christ with us. In the cross, Jesus meets us here to give us the hope that makes us whole and the promise of life with him forever. Holy Cross Day, you see, is a celebration of the victory of Christ in the cross for us. So in worship, after our brief reflection this week, worship will move forward in the familiar ways that remind us that we walk in the hope of the cross and the joy of being together. After worship, there's even more planned, and Cindy and Peter are here to tell us all about that. Plan to join us Sunday after the 11 a.m. worship and lunch for God's Work Our Hands Day. In fact, we have t-shirts about it. We sure do. It even has Bruce on the back. I'm glad that you did that and not me. <laughs> this Sunday, the God's Work Our Hands is a day that the ELCA, our Evangelical Lutheran Church, has set aside for us to do service for our church and our community. Here at Grace, we will have projects like... Parking lot cleanup. Weeding the various Don Christian flower gardens preparing Sunday school supplies for the Lutheran World Relief Backpack School Kits, adding Bibles and hymns to our pews, various 
uh, tidying of our Vacation Bible School items, like the food bank packaging that you all have donated to. So, please consider a small part of your day to come and help us and help our church and our community. Did you miss ordering a shirt? Well, if you'd like one, while it won't be here for Sunday, you could order one and you would have it for next year. While we got you on the video, I want to talk a little bit about what's coming up. This, this coming Sunday is the milestone for new Bibles and for drivers. And the Bibles are for youth in kindergarten, second grade, and sixth grade. If you missed a Bible previously and are in those grades or the grade before it, uh, you know, we had a pandemic, so some of you weren't around next, last year for the Bible. Please come and get one. Anybody who needs a Bible should come and get one. And we still have backpack tags available if you would like one. Beginning Sunday, September 19th, we will offer a family style Sunday school. Since we all have not been vaccinated yet or can't be vaccinated yet, we will be outside our four-week curriculum involves us learning and discussing our neighbors. Further out, so those four weeks will take us to middle of October, so October 17th and 24th, we will have Holy Communion classes. And if you need a refresher, come on out uh, and continue to learn what communion means to all of us. So please join us. Friends, we sure hope to see you here for worship. If not, today's 8 a.m. service will be broadcast at the usual 10.30 time on WRSC. Starting next week, you'll be able to see and hear worship live at 10.30 by clicking on the link on the splash page of our website, glcpa.org, or visiting our YouTube channel and Facebook page. However we gather, in person or in spirit, remember. God loves you, so take care, friends. Take care, take care friends. friends. Bye. -bye.